each simulation will begin with a little bit of background on the virtual patient that the students will be working with. We're in one of the learn modes here. So the first few steps of this particular procedure is setting up the EKG machine. So there's gonna be some multiple choice type questions here um, to test students on their knowledge, see if they know what the first step is when it comes to setting up the EKG. So since we're in learn mode, you can see it actually kind of gives the answer to me. My cursor turns green over the correct multiple choice answer. And then once they select, they're going to see the little video that shows them exactly how to complete this step of the procedures. So they still have that nice visual um, showing them the step-by-step -step process. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit to when our patient comes in. Um, you'll see that these videos here actually do not have any sound, which is great because students can actually practice conversing with the patient as well or speaking to the patient. So in this case, we're going to be explaining the procedure to the patient. The student could really practice their tone and diction. A lot of students don't have the confidence with that when it comes to lab time or even their clinical. So some texts will give them that nice practice of practicing their tone and their diction with the patient. That way they're prepared when they're speaking to a patient in real life. I'm going to skip ahead to when the EKG procedure actually begins. So they'll have their step of the procedure over here. Um, again, because I'm in learn mode, my mouse will actually turn green once I'm scrolled over the correct instrument. And same thing, when I go to place that on the body, my mouse will turn green right when I'm over the correct area. And again, they're going to get this nice little video showing them the visual of that step as well, um, what it would look like in real life. Now, if I'm a student and I was really confused with this procedure, I had no idea where to place this first electrode. Since we're in learn mode, if I click three wrong times, on the third time, it's actually going to give me um, directions as to where to place this electrode sticker, and this little white dot will actually show me physically where to place it as well. Um, again, just trying to cut down on any student frustration. We really want them to be able to work through these learn modes and get them to that mastery level. For, so when it comes time for the test simulation, they're able to pass it with ease. 